All right, guys, another pistol review for you today, and this time it's going to be short and sweet, just like the pistol I'm reviewing, the Ruger LCP-2. Now, the backstory on this pistol is I used to own the original LCP, and uh, it was a great little pocket gun. I like to carry that thing. I even had a little Kydex holster that I would carry it in, and uh, it was just very nice, you know, out of um, um, convenience to just throw that in a pocket, uh, front pocket, cargo pocket, or in that holster. Uh, it was very easy to carry. Now, there were some downfalls to that gun as well. It could be ammo finicky to a point, uh, supposedly. I didn't have any issues out of it, uh, but I ran ball ammo out of mine anyway, being a 380. Um, and the sights. So there were a couple upgrades on this new LCP. I think they did a very, very nice job on. And uh, while we're talking about sights, we might as well hit on them. The back sight, they're still milled into the slide, but the back sight is definitely easier to distinguish where the back and the front sight are. And if you notice, I've already put some green glow paint on the front, which really shows up nicely. Now this is actually my daughter's gun, and there's a reason that we had to pick this one up recently. Um, I'm not gonna get into details right now as to why, but I will just tell you that we had another brand, Pocket Pistol, uh, Pocket 380, and the trigger broke, and uh, literally, a piece broke and after evaluating it um, it was obvious that the company used junk metal and I vow to never ever in my life uh, own another pistol from that company again I'm not gonna get into details right now but you will see a review on that uh, as soon as the part gets to me from the company and then I can repair the gun I'm gonna do a review all right and I'm gonna post it on the company's Facebook page so they can see what kind of junk they make for everybody to see um, the LCP2 comes with one mag, and it is unloaded. Uh, one mag it helps them keep the cost down, which is a, a nice feature. You know, you can pick these up for between $265 and, and $299. I paid $279 for this one, and uh, I think with sales tax, it was like right at $299. So it's really, a, really a great deal. Now, one of the things that the original pistol had over this one was a little bit thinner in the grip area, but that also meant worse ergonomics. So this one fits in the hand a little better, and the LCP2's got some really nice stippling. And uh, just the lines of the pistol just looks really, really nice. Um, the trigger on this thing, you wanna talk about an upgrade. One of the biggest complaints on the old LCP was that long double action pull uh, that took forever to break and that broke way at the back. So people with larger hands had trouble holding that thing on target and then we hit a nice crisp it's amazing this trigger i'm telling you guys this thing feels as good as almost any stock uh, uh striker fire trigger that i have felt uh, i'm not going to show you the reset because most guns this size including this one do reset pretty much all the way out but the beautiful thing is is that crazy break is just so crisp and so nice you can actually put that little green dot on the front on your target with this gun, press the trigger, and it doesn't yank it offline because you're trying to pull through a wall with a gun that weighs about 10 ounces. So um, I'm not gonna tell you a whole lot more about it, guys. The thing is tiny. It's a pocket pistol. It's designed for up close and dirty work. It's not designed for distance or target shooting or range shooting. But I will tell you, the, the magazine that I put through this, and my daughter put 50 rounds through it, um, it is a sweet little gun, and I am seriously considering picking up one for myself for pocket carry. So let's head to the range. All right, guys, here we go. Ruger LCP from 10 yards. One of the really cool features also with the new Ruger LCP2 is that the slide locks back when the magazine is empty. Now you can use old mags with this gun, but it won't lock the slide back. So that's a really cool feature. Let's go take a look at the targets. And the uh, cool thing about this, I can just take it in my pocket. It's so small. So let's head up, take a look at this target. 
doesn't look too bad. Again, it's a six inch circle and that's from 10 yards and it's a frigid day. Uh, it's not as cold as yesterday when I came over and tested my meprolites when it was um, 10 below zero, but uh, the wind chill still right now is about 12 degrees. So it's cold, my trigger finger's cold, but let's take a look. All right, so there you go, all seven rounds. Uh, again, six inch target. We take a look at a fist right there. We're in that fist size. There's my hand size, so six inches from 10 yards. And guys, I have to attribute that. This trigger on this little gun is unbelievable. It is absolutely an excellent little trigger for this gun. And if it continues to be reliable, um, I really, really think I'm gonna buy one of these. Now, I know most of your shooting with this gun will be up close three to five yards, but it's just a testament to how good the trigger is and the inherent accuracy of the gun from 10 yards, you know, um, keeping a nice little group there of, I don't know, I mean, I'm gonna say five inches. Uh, I'm not gonna complain a bit. So one magazine, but they do have this holster. It's a regular nylon holster, great for pocket, but it also has this little strip and uh, it's actually really nice for keeping in the waistband and it holds, it's secure when you pull that gun, so. the range here on my workbench I've thawed my trigger finger out um, and I really really can't say enough about this this gun the hundred rounds we've put through it total I put 56 through it and my daughter's put 50 um, it's it's an amazing little gun I am really really impressed with it and of course we know the beautiful thing about these little guns is they're just palm sized they're so small but with the new ergonomics on this thing it fills the hand much, much better. Not concerned with the pinky there. You get a nice full two finger grip. And again, being a little thicker back here really, really works in the grip. The holster works well. It uh, works really well in the pocket. Actually works inside the waistband as well. I showed you guys really quickly on the range of group size. I said that we had about a five inch group. And we actually have got, if you see the calipers there, we're set at four inches. We actually have a four inch group. So um, from 10 yards with a pocket pistol holding uh, uh, four inch groups, I am not going to complain with because we know that this gun is made for out of the pocket, out of the holster, out of the purse, doing work up close and personal, you know, from that three to five yard range. So I'm pleased overall. Again, I've said it probably three times now. I could definitely see myself picking up this new Ruger LCP2 if it continues to be reliable. So guys, I want to thank you again for watching. I always appreciate your time and uh, we'll see you guys the next video.